All right, bitches. Time to go finish up the guardhouse. We got a big ass plant to fight, and we got some green Martian reptilian men to fucking kill and shit like that. Uh, all right, let's take a look what we got here. Uh, we need the red book. We don't need the ink ribbon. Only two left, huh? All right. Let's go say hello to plant. 42. Yep, we're good. Alright, um... I'm trying to think... Yeah, okay, yep. Just gotta go put some shotgun shells and plant 42's ass right here. <clears throat> Oh, the creepy guardhouse music. Um, okay. So, here's where we'll use the red book. Opening up the door to Plan 42's chamber place. Oh. Hmm. Chris is just like, oh, this is really odd. It's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You could... Whoa! Chris! Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion. And kill the root. Rebecca, please. Alright, so just like that, Chris got his ass fucked up. So now we're Rebecca Chambers again. Um, the first thing we gotta do is head in here and make the V-Jolt. Alright. Let's see, will you push the keys? Uh, so the goal is to make two red spots. Hmm. And I will do a nine, five, let's do right there. Hmm. Uh, put it right there. With Jill, it starts out in a very easy position. The goal here is just to make it so that we've got two. So if we do that and that, there's still two empty spaces. Hmm. There we go. Kind of just trial and error. Could be a lot more difficult. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab these empty bottles. Uh, here's another one right here. And right here. Okay. Now, you saw Chris threw down the file to Rebecca to, so that she could make this stupid little thing. We're looking for the Vigil report right here. Um, yeah, we read this all. And then you use this little formula to basically create the Vigil. And then we'll go put it on the root so that Chris doesn't get 
brutally fucked up. Uh, so we're gonna go grab some Umbrella 2. Uh, we also want to grab some Umbrella 4. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need another Umbrella 2. Okay. And then you gotta go get some of this water. Okay, now all you do is you mix together some two with uh, water, and you mix this four with the red. Okay. Um, we need some more four. Okay, and then we mix that with the MPO3. And then we combine the yellow 6 with the uh, 7. Now we need a 2. Some water. And then we mix it all together and we'll have some V-Jolt. Okay. Uh, nope, that's 13. There we go. MPO3 with 13. Voila, Vigil. Also, we're gonna equip her gun. Now we head down to the basement, throw the Vigil on that fucking plant, and Chris will bust some shotgun shells at him. go boy Rebecca she's lucky that she followed Chris here rather than somehow ending up going before him because she would have gotten her ass torn up just her little bitch handgun although Resident Evil Zero does show us that she's quite formidable she's not just some stupid little schoolgirl. I might go with Resident Evil Zero next in playing through all the Resident Evils. I could either go to two, but I think going back to zero and then working through would be a better idea. But anyway, here's the bitch ass root. Yeah, it looks like a plant root. Got it, Rebecca. Thanks. Use the Vigil on it. Oh, it looks like it smells quite bad. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and leave. Yeah, Rebecca looks like she's quite worried there. Somehow Chris is still alive. Oh, shit! Oh, thank you so much. Come on, Chris, get up. That was really stupid. <laughs> Alright. Get some. Ugh. I don't know how Chris survived that whole time, but he did. There we go. Yeah, motherfucker. How do you like that? Oh, that was so gay. The plant put Chris down right next to it, and then it just grabbed me like that. Stupid bitch. That's why you're dead now. And voila, we get the helmet key. Yep. 
Okay. So, that's this place done. Oh! I can't believe it! Are you okay? Yeah. So much for him. We got to the root of the problem. Saved again. I just... Really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I guarantee it. Well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. Got the radio. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. So this motherfucker Chris goes, We got to the root of the problem. Wow. Be fucking ashamed of yourself. That is a terrible pun. So Rebecca's just chilling. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? Oh, uh, sure. Yes, please do something for me, temporarily. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rebecca treats Chris. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? It's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. Wow, alright, Chris. Way to be on top of things like usual, you dumbass. Alright, so after Rebecca, uh, pleased and healed Chris, now we're gonna go head back to the mansion and go explore the helmet key rooms. Wesker! Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We're still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. <laughs> so there's that shady motherfucker lying his ass off like usual. Oh, whoa. Gotta kill him. There we go. Chris is like, where's Jill? He's, oh, I don't know where Jill is. Bullshit. Wesker in his head's like, where's Jill? Well, I just got done raping her and throwing her in jail. I don't know. Besides that, she's probably fine. Fucking Wesker. He gets a little better in uh, Chris's story. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see. I kinda... I'm at full health because of Rebecca. Um, You know, we're just gonna go like this. We're ready, so we're gonna go back to the mansion just like this. Any dogs I see will just run by him. 
whatever. This is Chris. Brad, can you hear me? Damn! Yep, sucks, bro. Radio doesn't work. Now, I think Rebecca gives you Richard's radio. There's Richard fucking us over again. Oh, the terrible demons broke my radio. It's like, come on, Richard, you jackass. This dog is trying to bite me. Oh, fucking dicks. The terrible demons. Thanks so much, Richard. Alright, are we still fine? Yep, we're fine. We're fine. Just gotta avoid these snakes, huh? Everything is fine. I hope no dogs spawned here. I don't hear anything. Alright, we're good. We're good. And I took all the herbs right there. Damn. Okay. Now that we're back in the, the mansion, everyone knows what time it is. Okay, we're ready. Here he comes. He could smell that tasty Chris. No thanks, bro. Still alive, huh? Fuck you. Oh my god. Holy shit. So they're taking shots like that, huh? Oh god, alright. Uh, we'll hop in here. The first of the many helmet key doors. Uh, let's see what we got. Switch. Oh yeah, magnum rounds. The brain blaster. And the doom book. Let's get this eagle medal out real quick. Okay. Now, oh, geez, shit, I'm quite worried about this next hunter. Hmm. I could avoid him, but that's bitch shit. Alright, I'll be fine. Come on, Chris, don't let me down, boy. Yeah, get down, bitch. Keep coming. Get up. Yeah, motherfucker. Okay. Go ahead and reload. Uh, let's see. I put some... I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Wesker. So... We know what Wesker's game is. He wants us to fight all these hunters and shit so he can get some combat data. He's not fooling us. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Alright, I'm gonna grab this first aid spray right here. I'm actually gonna do a little trick here. Uh... 
I need, um, we'll take two of these green herbs, put this eagle metal away. And grab another green herb. Let's combine these up and use them. Gotta make sure I'm at 100% health. We'll put the magnum rounds out, and we'll take the clip and the beretta. Um, we're also going to take the ink ribbon. Yep, just like that. Okay. Take the clip. Wow, we've got a lot of handgun bullets. Holy shit. Okay, now, these hunters uh, at the top of the stairs here... As I did before, I could just take a quick shot at them, run down the stairs, and they're not going to be able to attack me. So rather than wasting uh, shotgun bullets, shotgun shells, I can just use handgun bullets. Oh, here he comes! Oh, shit! Oh, he's mad. Let's go, bro. Oh, you're so mad. Wow, am I really missing this much? Come on, Chris. Fuck this ass up. Okay. Now his brother here, who for some reason didn't charge hearing his screams. Whoop, here he comes! Oh, what's the matter? Can't get me, huh? Fuck you. Hope you die a slow death, bitch. Okay, so... Doing it like that, you can kill a couple hunters with handguns. Usually it's not that good of an idea to fight them with a handgun. Because they'll just chop your head off. They do shit like that, because they're dicks. Uh, and we'll go ahead and drop a save down here. Now that we are back in the mansion. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. We're getting close to the end of the game. Later.